Hello folks and welcome back to The Relaxing Woodshop. My name is David. My name is Christopher. And I'd just like to give a big shout out to all our um, supporters who have been watching the videos. We're touching nearly a thousand views on all our videos at the moment, so it's been great, thank you. Thank you, Christopher. Now, this week we're going to do a small or miniature, or in Northern Ireland, a wee rocking chair base for teddy bears. Now, a wee rocking chair, we're going to be something around about this size here, nice and small. So you've set a rocking chair for yourself, Dad? Oh, hold on, wait, wait, just because you're six foot ten doesn't mean you're not going to get a good kick in the... Walnut's the main ingredient for today, so we have a thicker slice and a thinner slice for all the different parts. We're going to be using glue and a load of clumps, so let's get rocking. Right, we're over to the drawing of it. Um, I'm a bit of a Christmas person, if I'm being honest, so I thought the chair would look a wee bit more like Santa's sleigh than anything else. So, not an artist, just roughly. We'll start with the bottom, the rocking bit of it itself. Bring ourselves up and round. Come in and up. And then a nice bend at the top. Back around. You don't want to give yourself too many sharp straight lines because once this goes through the bandsaw, it's a wee bit easier to have stronger curves. Uh, and of course for the sanding machine as well. And we'll go with two circles, one here. And we'll go with one here. So let's get this over to Christopher. I'm going to measure this off just here at the end of that once we put it through. So Christopher then know what to cut. It might not look much what we're doing at the moment. But once you see Christopher in the miter station, there might be a bit more chance of understanding. Here we are over at the miter station. Um, thanks Dad for doing the artsy bit there and getting the measurements for me. Uh, we're going to set up the jig and the 23 and a half centimetres just give us that little bit of wheel room so we can creep up on the true measurements. Uh, we're going to cut two of the thicker bits off the walnut and then we're going to cut another two of the thinner bits um, for the outsides of the rocking chair. This is going to be noisy so let the music play. Guys, while Christopher's setting up for the gluing part of the video, I just want to do a big shout out uh, to one of our subscribers. Uh, he works in one of these kitchen shops and had a lot of cutoffs, so he has given me some solid wood, which is absolutely beautiful. So that'll put us in really good stead uh, for a couple of good projects. So stay tuned and we will be throwing out more videos very soon. Take four. Here we are under the gluing stage of the process. We're gonna get the two thicker slices uh, glued together. <clears throat> Gonna use good wood adhesive. Don't be afraid to put a lot on. And get it all rubbed into place. Get every nook and cranny covered. It's always handy as well to have the clamps preset to around the right size. Let that sit to dry off for a bit. Okay guys, now this is the outer part now where we did the original drawing if you remember back a couple of minutes ago. 
and here's the other side. This will come into more focus what we're going to do, but what we're going to do is we're going to glue this to this only with a slight bit of super glue because we don't want these to be permanently attached because we need to split these. So it's just a matter of getting the glue, picking your areas that you need to glue that you know you're going to cut away. And you do it in three or four stages around the outer edges where we're going to be cutting. Spray the other side. And we'll let that glue together. And then we'll be able to bandsaw that very soon. Well guys, uh, that about wraps it up for this week. As you can see, Christopher's walnuts are gluing away here and drying on the table. Uh, this clamp's central. You can never have too many clamps in a wood shop. You never have too many subscribers and likes on YouTube, so keep them coming in, guys. So thank you very much, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week on the Relaxing Wood Shop. See you then.